This is the uh, seventh grade TCAP practice test, the math section. Question number 23. A movie is being shown on television. The movie is scheduled for a 150 minute time period. There will be some six minute commercial breaks throughout the movie. Uh, the actual length of the movie is only 114 minutes. Which equation could be used to find B, the number of commercial breaks, the number of six minute commercial breaks? Now let's just figure out that number first. This is one of those problems that, like, is takes forever. I mean, you could do it without having to set up an equation, but they want one single equation for whatever reason. Anyway, let's figure out how many commercial breaks we have. First off, we've got the full movie time, or the run time, I should say. I'm going to take out the movie time itself. So I'm going to subtract 114. So I do 150 minus 114, and I get 36. So I've got 36 minutes allotted. This is total commercial time. Now, we're going to break up those commer this total commercial time into uh, groups of 6 minutes. So I'm going to divide by 6. And 36 divided by 6 means I have 6 uh, commercial breaks. So 6 breaks total. That's the answer to the uh, question that they're really asking. But this question asks you to figure out an equation that makes that the case. So what we're going to do is look at the choices and see if they make sense or not. Now remember, B refers to the number of breaks. So in A, they say 150 equals 6 times 114 plus B. So somehow we're going to take the runtime of the movie and add the number of breaks and then multiply that whole thing by 6. That makes absolutely no sense. Why would we do that? Seems ridiculous. So let's don't do it. And actually, if you want to plug it in and try to see if it can one side can equal the other, you can totally do that. Uh, so we said it's six breaks. So if I do 114 plus six and multiply by six, shockingly, it does not give you 150. So that can't be the answer. Uh, the next one says I'm going to multiply 115 by six breaks. So that means we're going to watch this movie six times. 114 times six plus six, shockingly does not give you 150. It gives you some gigantic number that you don't want to deal with. So it's not this. Uh, we could try this again. 150 minus 6 minute breaks and there's 6 of them. This seems reasonable. So if I do 6 breaks for 6 minutes apiece, I could have 150 minus 36, which would be the total time that we want. And that does actually equal one side to the other. So C is the only one that gives us an answer that actually works. Plus, it makes a lot of sense, because I take the total time of the movie, I subtract six six-minute breaks, and it'll give me what's left over, which should be the movie itself. So I'm basically taking the breaks away, and all I have left is the movie, which makes a lot of sense from an equation standpoint. The other one says, I'm going to take the movie, subtract six breaks from it of some random value we don't even know, multiply that number times six, and it should give me 114. Uh, spoiler alert, it does not, because 150 minus six gives you 144. Multiply that times six and it gives you 864, which does not make that true. So really, C is the correct answer because it's the only one that makes any sense. Because you're taking the total time, you're taking commercials away, and it shows you what's left. That makes a lot of sense to me. Also, if you could just work out the problem, you could just plug in those answers for B, find the one that makes a true statement, you get your answer.